What's good guys? Today is Monday, November 21st. That means there's two more days until my Thanksgiving break and I'm really excited about that. So yeah, it's gonna be a good week. Gonna go home, visit the family, uh, have some food and just, you know, vlog a lot, have a good time. So today I weighed in at 151.5 pounds, uh, which is like a new low weigh-in for me. But like I've, like I've mentioned in my other videos, you know, I wanna take, um, my way in maybe like once a week so I don't want to like do it on a daily basis um, I want to see how my weight fluctuates on a weekly basis just so it's more accurate because uh, daily if you do it daily then there could be a lot of factors that influence your weigh in so yeah but feeling pretty pretty lean today I had a low low carb day yesterday so you know I'm sure I lost a lot of water weight and everything maybe that's why I had a low weigh in but yeah gonna fill back up on carbs today. All right, since it's still pretty early, I don't wanna like eat my first big meal of the day yet. So what I'm gonna do is just sip on some coffee, just, just suppress my hunger, and then I'll show you my meal afterwards. I left overnight, hopefully it's nice and cold. Oh, there we go. It's pretty good. I have um, just regular black coffee with two packs of sweet and low, and I think a little little splash of um, like non-fat creamer. I just found out that I ran out of memory on my phone. Uh, it's pretty annoying because I actually bought the 128 gigs for this iPhone 7. Um, so yeah, I've been filming and taking too many pictures for this channel, but it's crazy how fast I used up all my memory. Just editing my video right now. All right, so first meal, I have about 200 grams of ground turkey and 223 grams of sweet potato. I'm super hungry right now, so I made a second plate of food. Same exact thing, 200 grams of ground turkey uh, and 280 grams of sweet potato. I'm also eating a lot right now because I'm planning to hit the gym after my uh, biochem class. So it's currently like 12, and I'm gonna go to class at one. I have class one or two. And afterwards, I'm going to hit the gym, so don't want to come back here and eat before the gym. If you guys haven't tried this combo yet, I highly recommend it. Ground turkey and sweet potatoes. Um, recently, I've been eating a lot of sweet potatoes. It's really, really good. I, I like the taste of it, and um, it's very, it fills you up. It's complex carbs and everything. It's a lot better than just, I don't know, eating cereal or other processed stuff for carbs. All right guys, just finished up class and I'm heading to the gym now. I'm gonna hit a push workout today, so super excited to strengthen my shoulder back up and to get back into heavier weights. All right, so just warmed up with the 45s and the 55s. Right shoulder, feels pretty good today. So, uh, I'll see how heavy I go. All right, first working set, I'm gonna try out 65s. So first working set with 65s felt pretty light. So right now for the dumbbell flat bench, um, I'm feeling like doing sets of six to eight reps. So I'll probably jump up to 75 pounds for my next set.
So 80s felt pretty heavy. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with 80s for the rest of my sporting sets. Try to get six reps for each set. So I know I said this was gonna be a push workout, but um, just on the spot, I just feel like hitting some pull movements. So I haven't done single arm dumbbell rows in a while. So I'm just gonna hit some dumbbell rows on the same bench. Just get that out of the way. I'm really feeling the pump. I feel good, I feel warm. So yeah, we're gonna work the antagonistic muscle group. Just hit chest, now we'll use some back. And then after that, I'm gonna probably head back to some pushing movements. So first set of dumbbell rows felt really good on my shoulder, didn't aggravate it. So I want to keep going with dumbbell rows. Probably hit a total of four sets of 10 reps. So I've done three sets of the single arm dumbbell rows. I know I said I was gonna do four sets of 10, but listening to how my body feels, I'm probably just gonna hit, you know, I'm just gonna hit three sets. I'll, I'll be, I'm, I'm done with this exercise. I'm gonna move on to my next movement. Um, the reason I wanna do four sets is because I don't wanna time my body out too much. I am cutting still, and I don't wanna do too much volume today. And my main goal is to do some pushing movements. It's not like a back workout right now, so I'm gonna stick to some more pushing because that's the main objective for today. All right, so next movement is gonna be incline dumbbell press. Um, I'm gonna hit four sets of six to eight on this. Third set, let's get it. So as you guys saw there, I only got seven reps for that set. Um, I could have gotten eight, just don't wanna I didn't want to push it too hard and uh, get too tired because I still have a lot of volume to go for the rest of my workout. 
I'm still out of breath right now. Holy crap. But yeah, that's my reasoning behind it. Alright, so fourth and final set for this incline dumbbell press. I'm gonna go for six reps. So next movement is going to be some hammer curls, um, straight up dumbbell hammer curls. Probably going to hit around four to five sets for that, depending on how I feel. And uh, when I do upper body days, I like to alternate between a push and a pull movement. I do this because I like to give my uh, body parts some time to recover. So let's say I hit a chest press, um, afterwards I probably hit some kind of pull movement, whether it be like a lap pull down or dumbbell rows so I can uh, hit my back and give my chest some time to recover and so I'm not like exhausting one muscle group till failure. Alright, so 45s are feeling pretty damn heavy, so I'm going to drop it down to 40s, finish off the last two sets with that weight. Alright, so done with hammer curls, moving on to some shoulder work. Uh, this is going to be a, a couple of accessory movements. Going to hit some side laterals and then some rear delts. I'm going to do three sets of each movement and do about 15 reps for each set. Alright guys, so last accessory movement for this workout, tricep push downs, my favorite tricep exercise. Alright guys, so it's currently 5 o'clock, made it back to the apartment complex. I'm going to do about, I want to say, 20 minutes of steady state cardio. So just finished up 25 minutes of some low intensity cardio. Um, it's pretty easy, just some brisk walking, watch some YouTube videos to pass the time, and now I'm done. But yeah, I got that out of the way. Alright, so I'm going to have my next meal. The last time I ate was before I went onto campus. It was like around 12, I think. So it's been a while. It's like 5.40 right now. I'm gonna have Chipotle, 
I have like, let me show you guys. So yeah, I have some leftovers right here. It's like a little more than half of a bowl. I'm gonna kill that. I also have some sides right here. So I didn't end up eating all the chipotle, probably ate half of that half, just because I wanted to save some macros for this one thing. Yep, the good stuff. I'm craving ice cream so badly right now, guys, so I'm probably just gonna finish off this whole pint. And if you guys haven't seen my other videos, I always rave about these, um, these little pints of ice cream. The brand's Halo Top and they have a bunch of different flavors. It's like a healthier uh, version of ice cream. The macros are really great. This whole thing, if you add it all up together, it's only 280 calories, um, eight grams of fat, 48 grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein for ice cream. And they taste so good, guys. I I'm so excited to eat this right now. So give it a try if you guys haven't tried it out. So our Thanksgiving break starts this Wednesday. Um, officially, but I don't have class on Wednesday because all my classes got canceled and so my last class is actually tomorrow Tuesday um, at, I have classes in the morning from 8 to 11 and then after that I'm done So I'm actually going home tomorrow. My friend Rachel is gonna drive me and Eric um, To LA and then my parents are gonna pick me up from there So I got to pack everything right now and just be ready for tomorrow Do you feel the pain?